Welcome to History Bedtime Stories in a bed in our pajamas and tonight we are on our fifth night of presidential pet history which takes us to president number five James Monroe. He was president from 1817 until 1825 and he was a democratic republican. He is the last of the founding fathers to serve as president, the last revolutionary war veteran to serve as president, and when he moves into the White House, his wife, Elizabeth Courtright Monroe, was so ill she basically took to a second floor bedroom and their eldest daughter presided as first lady. But when it comes to presidential pets, we have two pooches to talk about tonight. The first is the president's Siberian Husky named Sebastian. By all accounts, this was not a close master pet relationship. The president was not enamored with this dog. It was sort of a household dog. The really beloved animal actually belonged to the Monroe's youngest daughter, Maria. She was 14 when the family moves into the White House and she brings with her her spaniel named Buddy. Now it's completely lost to history whether Buddy was a boy or a girl, but Buddy the Spaniel was adored. And Maria actually made local Washington papers and socialite columns for the fact that she wore bloomers under a dress that gasp only went somewhere between her knee and her ankle, didn't go all the way to the floor, allowing her to have more fun kind of flomping and gymnasticking and running around with her puppy, this spaniel named Buddy. The Monroes were pretty boring as far as uh, pets, just the two, but a side note on Maria, she was the first presidential daughter to be married at the White House. Wash your hands, be nice to each other, and we'll see you tomorrow night for president number six.